All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Spy here, and we're back for some more of the Yokai Wall Street Let's Play. If you do see it right now, we have some new members added on into our party. We do have with Loxton and also with PK Sparks. Uh, no, those Yokai names are actually be known as uh, Mython and Robo Neon F, and uh, I had to go and use the special five star coins and the legend coins that I still have within our time of using the Cranky Kai machine. I did land on a perfect, better type of crank uh, attempts that we are able to go and do, and that was around eight and. And uh, I believe I actually used seven of those different cranks within this area here in the BBQ area. And then I also just did the last one within our time of using uh, Silver or aka known as uh, Haley Ann within our way of... Uh, doing that one crank and kind machine and i believe i actually did go and pull an age of uh from that crank and kind machine as well so now we actually not have one but two different jabonions one from that type of said region in the bbq area and this one said area here in the springdale area so at least we have uh a, well at some point to get to use a uh a jabonion if we ever need him at this point but yeah so if you guys also do recall from the last episode we do have now with orgion as well basically that is just somewhat of a custom yokai that we can go and built up uh if we ever do need him on the team which uh we may possibly be doing that maybe later on throughout our time because i wouldn't mind trying to do some custom building uh with that said yokai right there now uh within this video uh for today if you guys do recall we do have to go and put some of the different posters around within the area of springdale and that is what we're going to be doing and the first one that we're going to have to go and do is put here over at the shrine which that is pretty nice and simple right because i was already here around within our way of uh of the uh cranky kind machine to begin with so pretty nice that we were able to just go and do this one right now so here we go we got mr e once again and uh, it seems like mr e is going to be uh bringing us into somewhere and that is going to be known as the yokai world yes we are finally going to be reaching our way to the yokai world but it's going to be somewhat a little bit different because apparently for what this yokai world is going to be is going to be like some sort of like a fancy restaurant and you're only invited unless if Mr. E will actually allow you to and uh, I think you're going to be able to do this only at least like one a day so uh, that's pretty uh, interesting to see now I don't know if you're going to be able to like buy like certain fancy type of food or something that will probably like heal up your yokai pretty well or what's going to happen but we'll probably check this around a little bit later uh, but for right now we'll just enter on into the yokai we'll show it off to you guys and then basically leave from here and then continue onwards with the uh, poster uh, type of putting up uh, well putting around that we're going to have to go and do here. Now, we will be experiencing a new area, uh, not just only with the Yokai World, though, but we will be doing something new within Springdale, which we are going to be heading on over to the Flower Road type of place uh, within the... Uh, I I forget what it is known as uh, within the main type of part, but I know that there's like a thing known as Flower Road. It's basically like a mart type of area where it's like a little pathway of stuff that you can go and basically do. Um... <laughs> I don't, I, well, I don't think it's downtown, uh, downtown Springdale, but it's like another type of area, which we are going to have to go and see. No way! Yeah, that's a pretty nice building. Wow, those eyes are really creepy. <laughs> they may probably just freak me out. I may probably not even want to even show up into this fancy restaurant if those eyes are going to just be staring at me. Looks like the eye of Sauron or something there. <laughs> So yeah, so Mr. E is going to go and say what he needs to say here, but within these two videos for today, not only are we going to be just doing out here within our way of Yokai Watch 3, but we are also, of course, going to have to do some more of what Persona 4 is going to be. Yes, we are going to be jumping back into Persona 4. We are going to have to go and figure out who is going to be the next victim in the TV world that is going to be getting dragged on into there, and uh, I believe that is what's going to be happening as well, because... Uh, we're, I think we're just getting close into the rain and the fog that is going to be happening within the weather of Persona 4 Golden. So uh, we are going to see what is going to be transpiring from there. So I want to say just like how... Um, just like how Yokai Watch 1 works, uh, I believe you can actually uh, change around within that said uh, type a little button prompt there with our way of having this specialized key. And I believe you can switch between the Yokai World or the Kraken Kai Machine, just like how we did it before. 
So the next location is going to be here is over at the museum. Now, if you ever are lost within the area of trying to put all these posters around, um, remember back over at the community center uh, during the last episode, we got like a town map area. Well, each of those town map areas actually have uh, the different type of red exclamation points that we're going to be able to go and see. So we actually have one spot for the hot spring, one spot for the shrine, one spot for the museum. I believe there's also one for the station as well and one for flying. Flower Road, which I believe Flower Road is going to be holding out with a yokai battle that we're going to have to go and do before we go and put around with the posters. But after that, I, I believe we should at least be somewhat getting our way a little bit closer into the, uh, well, hopefully with the end margin of our time of uh, what Chapter 4 is going to be. Now, I know that Chapter 4 is going to probably be pertaining out with a boss yokai at some point, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Now, I know that with the, like a couple of, well, a couple chapters from beforehand, we didn't really have to really worry about any type of boss battles or anything. So maybe we'll probably be taking a little bit of a break within this chapter. We'll have to see. But I know that there's really no type of breaks within a yokai game because normally they want to kind of shift through all the different bosses as quickly as possible before we get to like the end of the uh, end of the goal that we do want. Now, uh, I don't know if I already would have said if you guys are going to ask if I'm going to be doing the post game or whatnot. Um, maybe, or potentially. I have been kind of thinking over about what the post game I'm going to probably go and do. I really do like that mystery hut, or the, like uh, that mystery dungeon type of uh, type of way of, of that one little mini game. We'll probably do that as a post game. It all depends on, about like how I level up all my yokai though, because uh, unfortunately there's really no type of QR code or anything that really gives us like like a limited amount of of like twenty thousand some automatic of experience points. Unless if you want to go and uh, head on over to one of those uh, cranky kind machines and use one of your special type of coins for that, I think normally I think like green or orange normally kind of help you out around within there. So we got ourselves with the Repossessor. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect name for like some sort of like spirit type of ghost or something there, right? Well, this guy looks so scary. He kind of looks like one of those uh, monster houses. I think that's what it's known as in Final Fantasy VII. That's what they kind of look like. <laughs> but, oh man, I remember that monster house battle. I think within the Final Fantasy VII remake game though. That battle was actually somewhat insane. But I'm glad that I went and, and defeated that. <laughs> So yeah, this guy basically has short-term memory. He completely forgot about everything that when it happened here. Well, of course, the man got literally possessed by a ghost. <laughs> but there we go. That should be the last of the posters. And I believe now it's time to go and head back home. And uh, time to get a little bit of some sleeping. But I don't really want to psych myself out yet, but we haven't really ran into another terror time. But... I guess, like, terror times only happen, like, on a really rare off chance, I guess. Because, like, we haven't seen one, like, for, like, quite a while. Not since, like, uh, the time of the tutorial, though. But anyways, we are here now. See you guys in the next one. And, of course, peace.